I mean, what a building. This is absolutely incredible. My dream team today continues. You're right, ladies. Oh, can, can we help you? Just arriving to the most breathtaking room here at Clifton. Oh my goodness gracious me. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at the ornate building, the cornicing, the table, the afternoon tea of dreams. I have ever seen. I can't believe I've just said that, but I think it's safe to say that you will think the same. I mean, have you ever seen something quite so beautiful? The intricate lace on the most stunning natural hat. I can see this being positioned slightly off the side. I literally, I want this hat on immediately. And you can dress this for so many different events. I'm thinking Royal Ascot, I'm thinking Goodwood. You can even wear this hat to Henley Regatta. It is just the hat that is perfect for every single occasion. You could also wear it to a wedding. I think if you were to wear sort of a very natural colour, obviously not white, but I think it could go so beautifully. Then we've got a few of the smaller pieces. I love a headpiece. You're not going so all out where you've got a hat, but you've got a beautiful headband with a stunning detail. Details. Now that's the difference with Vivian Sheriff. It is all about the detail. You've got the beautiful crystals. And trust me, these pieces are one off. Absolutely breathtaking. We've got quite an eccentric, colourful number here with the amazing feathers. But just look at the craftsmanship and the detail of the feathers just going up and the orange tips. This is breathtaking. I think this is very similar to a hat that I wore last year, but just slightly smaller. You guys know me, I go all out with the hat. So if you did want something slightly smaller, then this is an amazing, amazing option. I mean, I'm absolutely blown away, absolutely blown away. But hopefully a little bit later, I will be able to pinch Vivian herself to come and speak to you. This is just everything, the view, the decor, the house, and the, I think it's dying behind the camera. This is just so stunning. And I just can't wait to share the day with you. So we are having a high tea here. We're going to hear from Vivian herself about the collection, the inspiration behind it, the craftsmanship and her team. But actually I'm really excited that this is actually the start of an amazing partnership with Vivian Sheriff as one of her brand ambassadors. And we've got a seriously exciting year together. So I cannot wait to share it all with you guys.
and thank you so much for joining us on International Women's Day with Vivian Sheriff and her beautiful hats for afternoon tea. Um, I know you're going to have the most beautiful afternoon. The sun's come out for us. Look at the beautiful tents are shining. So it's indeed uh, Women's Day for us. A couple of new faces here today. So I'm just going to tell you very briefly something very special about this room. This room was brought 120 years ago to Clifton House from Chateau de in France. And um, it's seen some interesting things. It was in the chateau where King Louis XV used to have um, dinner with his mistress, Madame de Pompadour, who is also sporting a very beautiful hat today. <laughs> but this table um, came with this room to Clifton House, and at this table has sat the most noble and wonderful people, from Queen Victoria uh, to Nancy Astor, most royalty you can think of, the Duchess of Sutherland, um, and then the Beatles and Winston mm -hmm. Churchill, <laughs> and today you. So thank you so much for joining us today. Please have a most wonderful afternoon tea, um, and um, we'll be with you very shortly. Enjoy. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. ladies here at this table and in quite possibly the most remarkable room. I feel very honoured to be sat at this it's table. Quite, quite, quite there, yes, well Anna is in her element in here. The royals have sat here and just the history and the fact that the whole room was taken from France. But I cannot wait to give you a real close-up of these hats, try them on, show you how intricate the detail is, but not before what is coming, which is the afternoon tea. Oh, I could demolish a scone. Scone or scone? Yeah. I say scone. Because scone. I have a terrible joke about scones. Uh, go on, I want to hear your terrible joke. What's the fastest cake in the kitchen? Uh, scone. <laughs> it's terrible, terrible. It's brilliant, it's absolutely brilliant. And that's definitely the case in, in our kitchen. Definitely the case in our kitchen. Well, I cannot wait to share the rest of the day with you. This is just so special. So, so special. Happy Friday. <laughs> so part of my job is also force feeding my team. <laughs> it never ends. <laughs> so I was like, and I was like, I couldn't possibly. I was like, yes, you are. Ellen, a little scone. I'm going to pass that over to you. Excuse, excuse me, passing. Oh, divine! Absolutely beautiful afternoon. I just can't get over this room. I can't get over this day. Oh my goodness me. So if you haven't already watched my international ladies and women's day event at the Ivy, then please go and do after this vlog because that actually happened this morning. But we have of course arrived at Clifton and today has been literally a dream come true. These sweet treats are absolutely heavenly and it really is a true art and science baking. But first, I think I may have to dig into one of those beauties. I have now found my favourite accessory of all time. Don't you know that you need one of these in your handbag to simply go and select your sweet Oh no, I'm not really oh. sure that I Oh no, 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 oh here we go. Oh, oh no. No, it's gone terribly wrong. <laughs> But I love it. <laughs> Just exactly. so far and I'm 
I'm sure we've got lots more wonderful delights to come as well. Um, I just want to say a few thank yous before we start, firstly to the Clifton team. We've got Dennis and Thomas, and we have Toby, and thanks to Erica as well, who set things up for us today. So they've been absolutely wonderful hosts. Um, we've also got um, two wonderful influencers, creators in the room with us today, known as the Mayfair News. And we also have Leonora Sweet, um, who's a local lady. <laughs> and um, they both create wonderful content, fabulous influencers. If you haven't explored their social media, then I would urge you to do so. Um, it's thoroughly engaging and inspirational as well. So we're delighted to have you here today. And they are going to be um, modeling some of our pieces. So. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with Vivian from the early days, um, when you first um, made your first collection, mm -hmm. on your farmhouse kitchen table, yes, wasn't it, right. all those years ago, yeah. um, which got taken up by Selfridges, and I've seen Vivian grow the, black, the brand, it's completely independent, um, we were a very small, close-knit team, um, and she's grown it to an international, global level, we're a top tier. Uh, brand. So what we thought we'd do is keep this quite informal and just do a little bit of a, I'm going to almost sort of interview Vivian, um, but do feel free if you want to sort of chip in and ask anything. Yes, please time. do. Yeah, yeah I think it's yeah. that would be great. So what was it that inspired you to start designing women? Mm -hmm. Well that's interesting because I have a little bit of a background as you know, so I, I didn't train as a milliner, I didn't have a passion, I didn't have a passion as a child to be a hat maker, but I was very interested, always very interested in colour and in form and in fluidity, which I think you can see in, in shapes here in our collection. Um, I used to buy, do a lot of, I had my background's business, so I used to do a lot of buying and selling, and I sort of moved into vintage textiles, beautiful textiles, which um, probably about 20 years ago, 25 years ago, I started making headpieces that they were then, in those days, you know, 20 years ago, fascinators were quite new little pieces. Mm -hmm. And so I made lovely pieces, quite original, um, out of lovely fabrics, but I was never interested uh, in myself making the whole collection. I was much more interested in uh, the business side of it and keeping beautiful designs, but making it, I have to say, making sure they remain commercial, because of course, if the business isn't commercial, then you just disappear. Mm -hmm. So what inspired me to do it was a love of fabrics, a love of colour, and actually a love of business. Mm -hmm. So that's how I started. Great. And what does a typical day look like in the life of Vivian Sharon? Well, that's actually a really good question. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm only, I love swimming and I love getting cold. So I love, as lots, lots of you here, I'm sure, will have done the same, is swimming outside in the rivers. And so I live in the New Forest. Um, I t I've got a fantastic dog, we've got a fantastic dog called Fox, who's in terribly naughty. And sometimes I take him down to the river with me, but luckily I could, we're so close to the River Avon, absolutely beautiful swimming. So I swim all year round. Um, if I could, I'd do it every day, but mm -hmm. a few times, at least a few times a week. Um, I take the dog out. I'm really into being outside. I love, I mean, this whole collection is so much inspired by nature and where we are, and I love really taking in our environment. So then I will go up to the workshop. I've got a lovely team. Um, Ashley and I have worked together for, we know, we, nobody knows how long it is, it's just a very long time. She mentioned 15 years. I think, we can make it up sometimes, 15 years, 18 years, it's really longer, I don't know. Anyway, we've been together a long time. And I've got a great design team um, who we have a meeting in the morning, if we've got time, or the girls just get stuck in. Um, we're, we talk about what the next collection is coming up. So for Vivian Sheriff, for this main collection, we have two collections a year. At the moment, we're autumn winter, we're thinking about autumn winter. This spring summer collection was designed sort of last year, obviously, because it's spring summer 24. Um, so we have a sign meeting, perhaps, and then we get stuck in for the day. Um, at lunchtime, because we are so far off our farm track, we will um, endeavour to go for a quick half an hour walk, which refreshes the brain, doesn't it, actually? Yeah. Well, exactly. Isn't it because we all sit around the same table and we take lunch at the same yes. time? Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's um, it's always been our, my son, not to say our son, our son <laughs> <laughs> works, um, has worked in business with Anna for many years, and he so he was the only 
um, bloke that we had in there. Who's brain man? Yeah, <laughs> actually, we did have a um, we did have a production manager who was a, a boy for a man. <laughs> but basically, what I'm trying to say is that we're an all women team. So there's uh, there's six of us, and sometimes there's twelve of us, depending on what season it is. And um, so it's an all women <coughs> team, which I love. You know, I love working with men too, but I'm so used to working with women, and I really love the way we interact with each other. And I think. Um, we, I, I'm really close to the people that I work with, so it's a lovely, it's a nice feeling mm -hmm. being with the people that I work with. Yes, yes. it's a joy. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so that's that's our then. Yeah. Um, Vivian, would you please share with us um, what some of your top sources of inspiration are? <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> top sources of inspiration. So um, I think if we're the top, what do I really look at? If I go back to the beginning of what really inspired me again, mm. um, the sh it's about shape and about balance. So um, I work, I, as I said to you, I've never been interested in making the pieces from start to finish, but I love sort of um, heading up the design team, and Ashley is an incredibly good designer, and I've got a really lovely design team. So we sit together, we plan our... Uh, collections. This collection is named is every every summer, every spring summer for Vivian Sheriff, we have a theme. And so spring summer twenty four is the is all the fun of the fair. And so each piece is named after a fairground ride. And that's really good fun doing that. Mm -hmm. So I think the inspiration from for that it was like celebration and fun mm -hmm. and it's sort of mm -hmm. you know vibrancy and movement. And when I think of a fairground you think of a really fun lot of you know, not a really crazy fairground, but just like a, a sort of classic fairground. It's that colour, colour and whirling. And and, yeah, it is. Yeah. And um, but the pieces have to remain elegant. Yeah. And um, we want them to be timeless pieces. Obviously, these pieces are made to. Um, it doesn't really matter which collection it's from, mm. um, because they remain classic pieces. They remain to love. Yeah. Something. Exactly. Yeah. And I think it's lovely that the way you know that title, or the fun of the fair inspires the naming of each piece as well, doesn't yeah. it? So you see some of the pieces we've got here. For example, this piece is Big Dipper. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody asked me, what's that one called again? I can never remember the name. Moon Rocket. Moon Rocket. Mm -hmm. And we've got Bumper Car, and Roller Coaster, oh, and Pizza. <laughs> and it's just really, they, you know, when, when naming them, it's really good fun, isn't it? There's been some really great times, actually, which have been um, I remember the time we went, to, we went to Speaker's House, didn't we? We were invited oh, yes. to go during my oh, yeah. Yeah. to Speaker's House. That was incredible. That was a really incredible thing. To go under the tunnels, under, um, the and then the come out and then cross the park, and then they come up, and suddenly we were there. It's yeah. like, that was really quite incredible. Yeah. Um, I mean, meeting members of the royal families is mm. something. But yes. you know, it's difficult to say I'm proud because I don't want to sound too, you know, obviously oh, English. Oh, please. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so, so I think when it was so the royal wedding was uh, the, you know Kate and that that Kate 2011. Was a long time ago but in 2010 um, then Kate Middleton decided to wear well she chose to wear one of our lovely sweet pieces for her first official engagement and that image of her in Anglesey um, that the, the image of her was went literally went global it was absolutely extraordinary you may remember. It was a picture of her in a little tweed coat with a brown velvet headpiece. Mm -hmm. It's such an—it was on the front page of pretty much every magazine, you know, internationally. Mm -hmm. But because Twitter was quite new then, I think Twitter—we'd only been on Twitter since probably 2008 or something. So we were able to tweet that it was ours. The press picked it up, um, and it was only because we didn't know when she was going to wear it. We knew she had it, but we didn't know what was going to hit us. And it was just incredible because within a few hours, the world's press, I mean this is like 2010, so it's a long time ago, 13 years, you know, things weren't quite as, as instant as they are now, mm -hmm. but the world's press were literally, um, not at our door, but making appointments for interviews, and for the next sort of few months I had, <laughs> I was being interviewed from at pretty much every CNN, NBC, every <laughs> country, and they came yeah. the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, and Canadian, and Mexican, and they'd all come to our workshop, which was, the old workshop was probably pretty much this size, not as regal, <laughs> it was a small workshop with maybe six or eight makers in it, and they'd come and they'd film us, and it was absolutely incredible. I mean, that when I look back at that, so mm. I just think that was a really 
Fantastic. Look, how, how did you find us? How did you find you? Well, because we, at, at the beginning, we, um, our first stockist was for the very first collection of Selfridges. So Selfridges bought the whole collection, which is sort of was our launch pad. From there, because uh, at the time, uh, maybe a little bit more so then than now, Selfridges were an absolute leader in fashion. And um, so they had access to the, to the celebrities, so they were wearing our pieces. And then through that and other very sort of lovely, a few stockists that we had, um, Kate Milton, who was a buyer for, she, you know, she knew about accessories, she came to us. And, and her mum as well, yeah. And her sister. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was... So we made, that's how we made it for them. She was just a, you know, she is the most lovely. She was then woman. Kate Middleton. But she wasn't a, a princess. No. Or, yeah, she exactly. was still so, just... Exactly. So, um, <laughs> but it's, you know, that obviously it's incredibly important for our pieces to be seen on beautiful people, of course. Mm -hmm. and, um, but, and that's what keeps the business going. And that's, this is a new sort of way of, I suppose, the way we're working with you know, different people to wear our pieces, that has changed. It, things evolve, mm -hmm. and um, it's lovely to see beautiful people wearing our hats and famous people. But it's equally, I can honestly tell you, equally lovely to see um, ladies who are mum of the bride who want to come in, and they need to look that. They want to look that absolute best, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and to um, really reflect their personality and not wear something that's going to make them feel uncomfortable. Or, but to know that they can elevate themselves mm -hmm. and be the second most beautiful person on the on a special day, and that's really important. Yeah, I think the whole process of as well of having the bespoke piece made for you, it's a lovely experience to mm -hmm. have. You know, where you create the look with the designer mm -hmm. to a certain extent. Yeah. You know, it's really is it collaborative? Yeah. Yeah. It is. And yeah. somebody, you know, so many people come in and they say, "I'm not a hat wearer." I do. I've got, real. To, yeah. hats mm -hmm. you, I've got to wear a hat because of such and such. I'm going to the royal enclosure, and then. But you know, let, come on, let's try some pieces on, and then suddenly it's um, you see they feel elevated, yeah. and we know, you know, when you wear a hat, you stand tall, don't you? You know, you you, you don't want to wear something that is going to um, really make you feel too enclosed. And I think that none of us, not many people these days, are really used to wearing hats. So to suddenly put a big brim on that's going to restrict your vision, it doesn't make you feel comfortable unless you're used to it. So you need to wear something that is going to make you feel at ease and that you're going to be able to embrace your friends when you see them at the wedding or, and not feel... Almost like you're that you're wearing that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What is your top advice for choosing and styling the perfect hat? Awesome. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think it's just what we were you know, discussing, I suppose, that it depends who it is mm -hmm. and really identifying what, what is she wearing this piece for? Is she, is she confident that we're in wearing? Um, do you mean, are you asking me about like, individuals? How do you go about working with an individual? Is yeah, that what you mean? yeah, yeah. that whole bespoke because, you know, process. Yes. Think, yeah. because, and then, so, you know, what's, I think really looking at who the person is, then of course, really importantly, what is their face shape? What is their stature? Um, and then, next, what are they wearing? You know, mm -hmm. do they know what they're wearing? Are they going to go for the hat first? So, um, lots of our pieces, I would say, is something quite structural. You know, it's something that maybe sort of a little bit more cut, um, and so the, those beautiful um, straws at the back—they're great with tailored, with tailored little suit or with you know something that's sort of quite cut in. Equally, I saw somebody trying that on who had a really floaty dress just now. I said, "Wow, that just looks amazing." So I think it's looking at what shape they're wearing, um, what cut they're wearing, and then of course the colour. Mm -hmm. We don't want people. I mean. We really don't want people to look yeah, too, matched. too matched. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, I, I think it's about coordinating and mm -hmm. just coordinating colours that are really going to suit you, suit the colour of your face. If you if you've got maybe you've got a lime green something that you're wearing, you don't necessarily. Of course, you don't want a bright green hat right next to your face. You know, you want something that's going to <coughs> suit your complexion and maybe it'd bring a little bit of colour. There's some discs here. So things like this, it's got so many colours in it. And um, this was a colour, this sort of tangerine, I kept calling it the wrong colour and you kept telling me off last year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, beach first. It's not tangerine, but it's another fruit. <laughs> and, um, and so that colour, this was very much a colour that was around a lot last year. But the colours that are in here are really beautiful. And you, you know, you, or, because of course if you're wearing something cerise and really bright, you might not want to wear it completely cerise. You might want to, and it would look stunning on you if you're completely block colour. But actually it's really interesting to wear 
different colours that, um, you know, that, that you can, yeah, that you can do that. Exactly. This is such a little yeah. one because I love it. It doesn't matter that it doesn't match what I'm wearing. But a lot of people, you know, I think maybe not that one because it's flat, but especially a brim that maybe is tilted, you know, it restricts your vision, doesn't it? And it makes, it makes one feel that, you know, if you're not used to it, you can't see properly and you feel maybe not that comfortable. It's like you could give your head a good old shake and yes. you can kiss as well. Yeah, exactly. That's really you go to a wedding or something. You, yeah. you need to be able to embrace people, don't you? Of course. Yeah. And you need to, and of course, we have, you know, how hats are worn. A lot of people, um, but if you don't know how, how hats are worn, they would put it on the back of their head and you see people wearing them the wrong way around. And I did a really funny interview on CNN and you can just see my hand going like that. She, every time, um, the, that was so, I and mean, it was live, she kept putting every single hat on back to front. And like, no matter what I did, so in the end, I just, it was, you know, it was, it was like a big CNN program. I said, every, you're putting every single one <laughs> instead of just playing along because people don't understand how to wear them. So basically, down on the right, yeah. everything is down on the right. And then, you know, you don't have it tilted back on your head. Wear it yeah. forward yeah. and wear it with confidence. And, um, and that is so, that's such a lovely piece, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. But you know what's nice about it is that the brim, it, the front, it's quite a big piece. It is, it's, it's lovely, it's really fantastic. Fantastic. It's really fantastic. And if I saw you, I mean, I just think you would look absolutely stunning here. I mean, I would be really yeah, proud to see you wearing it. Yeah, yeah. 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 And they're so different to each other, yeah. but they're very much, both of them, you know, to me, they're very recognisably to me and Sharon. Corded lace, which we've dyed. Lots of, in fact, this has got um, gold leaf on it, hasn't it? So that gold leaf is applied to the feathers, which is um, really lovely. I'll know if you scratch it off. Oh, they all look so lovely. Look at that. That's so that shape is so oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. That shape really suits you, doesn't it? Yeah, it's gorgeous.
Hello my angels, my goodness gracious me, are we having the most incredible day and look at this breathtaking creation. I know I shouldn't have favourites but this is absolutely astonishing. The craftsmanship, the lace and I think it matches the dress to perfection, don't you think? I've got the beautiful Bee Boodles earrings in, a stunning necklace. Oh, the wind I might take off in my hat. But look at this for a backdrop. The beautiful building that is Clifton House. And of course, look at those magnificent gardens. Honestly, what a way to spend the day and what a way to celebrate International Women's Day with the most incredible powerhouses from this morning, which you would have seen on the previous vlog, to literally living a fairy tale in a magnificent room among some seriously inspirational ladies. Someone pinch me. Oh my gosh, I can't get over this hat. I might have to, I might have to, <laughs> I might have to do a runner with the hat on. Oh my goodness gracious me. excited to share with you the new Mac from Holland Cooper. It is absolutely stunning. Literally the dream, dream trench coat. after the craziest days of our lives and we get in the car and I'm like girls we did it there are two reactions oh, <laughs> and oh my gosh <laughs> honestly what a couple of days it's been a bit insane oh gosh I keep I don't know what's I don't know what it is maybe it's just extreme like overwhelming feeling I just keep having to go Keeping on track. Yeah, I can see some flashing as well. I feel like that's currently what's going on in my mind. There's batteries are flashing, eyes are flashing, everything is going. But what a day. Epic on every single level. Pinch me seriously moments. Oh gosh, and also I'm just having a little look in the camera. This jumper, it's a brand spanking new Holland Cooper jumper. I'm obsessed. I also feel really cozy and warm. Oh, lots of shooting outside. I've got a little bit of chilly. Anyway, let's head home. Oh, Yay. and just chill. Right, I'll see you guys when we get back. Hello my angels, it has been a few days since I spoke to you last and quite honestly I think I needed a few days to recover but what an incredible International Women's Day it was. We started off bright-eyed and bushy-tailed at the Ivy and I think it's safe to say all of the ladies had an incredible time. We celebrated hard, had delicious Paris Jouette champagne, the breakfast 
breakfast was absolutely scrumptious and the team at the Ivy Marlow Garden are outstanding. Their attention to detail and just professionalism was phenomenal so I cannot thank Roxanne and her team enough and yeah I think my girlfriends just had the very best time. I also want to say that there were a few ladies that sadly weren't able to make it who are dearest friends of mine and you can probably guess who they were but um yeah it was just amazing and I think everybody was shell-shocked about the hampers and I definitely don't think they will be forgetting them any time soon. So I just, I truly cannot thank all of the brands enough who participated and very kindly gifted for the hampers and to all of my girlfriends for making it. It was such a special day. We then packed everything up and went off to Cliveden, which I have just shared with you. What a remarkable place. I mean, driving in, if ever you get the opportunity or want to book for a Sunday lunch, they have a Michelin-starred restaurant, the afternoon tea of absolute dreams. I truly could not recommend it enough. It was absolutely incredible. To meet Vivian herself, hear about her story, and really the truth behind Vivian Sheriff. I, I really loved her raw and authentic and real story the fact that she said she she didn't dream about being a milliner and she had a business background and she employs and her team are full of women um, and her design team are just so talented it really is just the most incredible iconic great British brand the quality and the craftsmanship of those pieces are absolutely breathtaking and um, we just had the best time and the way that they included my team was just so special and I'm so grateful to each and every single person that is within the Vivian Sheriff team. They are, they're, they're remarkable and I just feel honoured to be one of their brand ambassadors. I cannot wait for you guys to see the content that we created and actually by the time you see this there will be a few bits and pieces that will already be live on my Instagram. So please, please go and take a look. It really was just the best day from start to finish, but I was absolutely exhausted and needed a couple of days to almost like process it all. But I also just wanted to say that I really, really wanted to be able to have the opportunity to also gift one of you, one of my Luxury by Leonora hampers. You always get to see the goodie bags and the beautiful things that we get to do, but I really wanted to be able to include you so from now on, which is very, very exciting, we are launching a Luxury by Leonora hamper every single month for my YouTube subscribers. So there'll be one hamper that will be available to win. So basically what you're going to have to do is follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Those of you who have already subscribed and are already subscribers, you will also be entered automatically into the competition. So I just wanted to be able to share something with you and every month there will be different items. And I also just want to make a statement that sadly the chocolate won't be able to be included because it is such a fresh item. Um, but every month there will be different goodies and I will of course come on and in one of my vlogs throughout the month I will share what will be in the hampers. So it's just my little way of being able to say thank you to you. I wish I could give every single one of you a Luxury by Lena or a hamper but <laughs> I think at the moment that would um that might bankrupt me. <laughs> but at least I'm able to do something. So, like I said, I will leave all of the details to the competition as to how you can win the Luxury by Lena or Hamper. You've got to follow me on Instagram, you have to subscribe here on YouTube, and I'm always being asked how to subscribe, so I will leave a little picture on the screen here of what the little button looks like. It doesn't cost any money to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You have to sign up to YouTube, which is such a pro. Honestly, there are so many positives to being 
being a member on YouTube because it will be able to show you things that you are going to enjoy. They will also send you notifications when your favorite creators have posted a new vlog and you'll be able to stay up to date with every single thing that is happening in my life. It's about to get crazy. The British summer social season is wild, but I wouldn't have it any other way. And of course, I will be bringing you along for every single second of it. And I cannot wait. So make sure to click that subscribe button, one, to be able to win the hamper of absolute dreams and to be part of the most incredible, powerful, inspirational community here on YouTube. So... I always say this, and I think by this point, I think we're always into an hour long. I don't know how long this vlog is, but I truly hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have loved every single second of creating it and bringing you along with me. So I hope you have a wonderful day, no matter what time it is, what day it is, what week it is. I hope you have an incredible day and sending you so much love.